Hi everyone, Liam here from Simply Inspired. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is a universal human experience, something that we've all experienced, and that is fear. Fantasized experiences appearing real. So fear is something that often exists in anticipation of a future event. It's an anticipation of something that might occur. But fear is never actually happening in the moment. Now fear, I'm making a distinction between fear and anxiety, and anxiety is to a large extent a separate subject. That fear can stand for forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. Now that leads into my next point, is that fear is like a bridge. In other words, what you want in life, um, and that's different for different people, whether it's a certain job you have your eye on, uh, a certain place you want to live, a certain career path, um, setting up your own business. It's entirely different for different people, but the way I like to look at it is the fear is like a bridge. And what you want is on the other side of it. And in order to get to the other side of it, you have to cross that bridge. It's very tempting to just give in and say, well, you know, um, I'm too afraid. What will people think of me? What if it doesn't work out? and so on. But the thing about that is you need to flip every one of those things on their side. What if it does work out? What if it goes really well and people appreciate you for it uh, all the more? The giving in to fear has a very, very brief satisfaction it does of the relief, but it has a long-term pain that comes from uh, not having faced that fear. Uh, and over time, the, the less you face it, the worse the fear gets. Whereas if you decide to push through uh, that fear and cross that rickety sort of bridge and, and you're afraid that you might fall, um, it might be hard in the moment but when you reach the other side the satisfaction and the happiness that you feel is second to none. It's absolutely incredible and, and many of you will have experienced this um, this type of fear where maybe it's um, a big event, maybe it's something like an exam or go on a first date or something like that and when you push through it and it goes well um, you feel much better and having positive expectations is, is absolutely key positive role playing um, before an event and, and visualization but we'll come back to that again so in terms of crossing the in crossing the bridge and every um, time you cross the bridge it gets easier I mean that's the simple truth is, is the first time it's you know it's quite difficult you're really feeling the nerves you're really feeling the you know the pressure uh, you've really got the self doubts and so on and so forth but when you do get to the other side, the, the metaphorical other side of that bridge and the satisfaction that you feel is very profound um, and then the next time you do it, whether it's with the same fear or whether it's with something else, it is actually easier and then the time after that easier until you get to a point where you realise that fear exists almost entirely in the mind. It is almost entirely the expectation of a future event. It is almost entirely the uh, anticipation or the negative mental construct. Uh, because many, many a time fear will come from having a sort of role-playing negative scenarios. What if this happens and what if this happens? Uh, instead of role-playing positive scenarios, which is one way that is very, very effective to uh, conquer fear. I, I've certainly come across the fact that many professional athletes use this method. Uh, many uh, musicians, uh, for example, these are just examples, before going on stage use this method. Uh, many uh, people before going on TV, pundits and so forth, use this method. You know, it's something that, that really is proven. Uh, it really has a proven track record. You don't have to take my word for it. I've been through it and experienced it personally. Uh, so have you. But you're not going to be the first person or the last person to go through this. There, you know, there were people before you, there'll be people after you. It is a universal human uh, trait. But the thing is that for those people that don't face their fears, um, of which there are many, you know, who, who, who um, let the fear get the best of them. Um, unfortunately, you know, they sort of pay the price of regretting um, what they haven't tried, you know, which is something that, that is very imperative to this whole concept.
is you know if you've ever spent time with um, for example with the elderly and things like that one of the key things they'll tell you is that they regret not the thing and not anything they've done even if it went wrong gener generally speaking but rather the things they didn't do and 90% of people don't follow through on something they want simply because of fear and fear comes in in many forms i'm not i'm not talking about phobias or fear of spiders or anything like that i'm, I'm talking about um fear of failure you know fear of judgment fear of not being good enough that your self-image doesn't you know measure up um and things like that and, and these are key things so you need to be very clear on what your fears are for you personally uh, and then you need to be very clear on a way to uh, counter those fears because everything you want is on the other side of that fear so recapping on this um, fantasizing experiences appearing real um, forget everything and run or face everything and rise uh, are two phrases to sort of keep in mind and remember that when fear emerges uh, when you sort of feel that uh, that tension and that 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 frightened sensation uh, fight or flight as, as it's known in in science just bear in mind that that is almost entirely a construct uh, of your mind it's often based on past experiences which are not happening in the present or it can be based on future experiences uh, imagined experiences of the future that are obviously not happening in the present but none of the fear is happening now and that is that is key because if you remember that um, then you have the realization that you are already good enough really to face anything thank you very much for watching um, please subscribe to the simply inspired youtube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon